In geometry, one of the easiest formulas to remember is the formula for area of a square, which is equal to side length squared, side length times itself. The square on the bottom of this cube is an example. It has a side length of 2 centimeters. That means all of the sides are 2 centimeters. And if we plug that 2 into this formula, we get 2 squared. And 2 squared is 4. And because it's area and the distance was given in centimeters, the unit for area will be centimeters squared. Knowing this formula can help us not have to memorize these other three formulas. The formulas for lateral area, total area, and volume of a cube. The formula for lateral area of a cube is 4s squared. 4 times the area of the square. The lateral area is the total area of the four sides of the cube, not including the sides that are lying flat on the top and the bottom. If we plug the side length 2 into this formula, we get 4 times 2 squared, which is 4 times 4, which is 16. And because it is an area and the side length was in centimeters, it will be 16 centimeters squared. We don't have to memorize this formula because we already know s squared is the area of one of the squares that makes up the faces of the cube. And lateral area simply means we have to multiply that by 4. The total area of a cube formula is 6s squared. It works the same way. All of the squares that make up the cube have equal areas. So if we find the area of one of those squares and multiply it by 6, we must be getting the total area. The total area is all six sides of the cube, including the sides lying flat on the top and the bottom. So to fill in this formula, the side length is still 2 centimeters. We have 6 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so we have 6 times 4. And our total area of this cube is 24 centimeters squared. Again, we don't have to memorize this formula if we understand the concept of the cube and if we remember the area of a square formula. The volume of a cube is s cubed. And that can be written, if we want, as s squared times another s. Because s squared times s is s cubed and means the same thing as s cubed. So again, we have that s squared, which is the area of the square on the bottom of this cube. And we're just multiplying it by the side length one more time. Filling in this formula, the side length is 2, so s cubed becomes 2 cubed, and 2 cubed is 8. And because it is volume and the distance measurement was centimeters, the unit of measure will be centimeters cubed. I got this 8 centimeters cubed by applying this formula. But I could also apply this formula. Volume equals s squared times s. And it would look like this. s squared will be 2 squared. And times s means times another 2. 2 squared is 4 times 2, which is 8. Again, it's a volume, so it's going to have centimeters cubed as its unit of measure. So we can see that, in this case, I'm replacing s squared with 2 squared. In this case, I'm replacing s squared with 2 squared. In this case, I'm replacing s squared with 2 squared. In each case, I can replace s squared with 4 because I know that's what 2 squared is equal to. This knowledge allows me, because I know the area of a square formula, and I am comfortable with the fact that a cube is made up of 6 equal squares, to avoid having to memorize these three formulas. They are simple formulas and not that difficult to memorize, but when I'm preparing for an exam, the fewer formulas I feel I have to memorize, the better I like it.